Hi everybody, my name is Gert. Welcome back to the workshop. In today's video, we are going to make some stone portals. Useful for all kinds of games. Let's get to it. Okay, let's jump straight in with a look at the tools and the materials. We are going to start off with 3mm thick MDF, of course, with a bevel ledge, a compass to draw a bunch of circles with, a hobby knife with a new and sharp blade. The base material for this project is going to be 5 and 3mm thick foam board. I had a couple of offcuts that I used from a previous project. I got out my hot glue gun to glue everything together. However, for this project I only used fast drying PVA glue. Then of course, a texturing tool, I use a lava rock. And then it's time to start with the building phase. First thing we need to do is measure out a bunch of circles and then cut these out out of the foam board and glue them together with PVA. Let's go! The big circle is done, time to make a smaller one. For this I used an outer rim of 3mm foam board and a center of 5mm, so we have a little bit of elevation. I cut away the paper and the glue to make place for some texturing and to get some weathering going on so I don't have even rocks. Just cut away little chunks here and there. Then it was time to assemble the piece for this I used hot glue simply press in the center of course some of the glue is going to get through and glue everything together no problem you can simply detach the foam board and the glue from the table with a sculpting tool like so time to add a bunch of detailing I use the center point to determine some of the rocks on, on the outer circle and then I just freehanded a pattern first with a pen. Then I slightly cut into the lines about a mill or two deep. And then again to get the texture I take my pen and just go through the lines. Okay time to add some texture. For this I use my lava rock and I simply bash in the texture into the foam board. And I also use my hobby knife to get rid of the evenness at the outer rocks a bit more weathering a bit more wear and tear and then again I use the lava rock at the outside to make sure that everything is nice and crunchy and then it's time to detail the centers same principle and techniques as before
detailing and texturing is all done time to get started on the soil i want to build up the ground to where it meets the stone for this i'm going to use speckle perfectly normal to use ready mixed speckle but i like to make my own gives you better control of the consistency and it's much cheaper with my paint knife i simply apply the speckle to the mdf making sure to have a nice little slope from the edges to the stone then let the speckle dry thoroughly and it's time to lay down a bunch of painting i used black gesso as a primer of course you can use whatever primer you like first layer of color is a dry brush with 50 percent dark sea blue 50 percent stone gray all over the model you can see me here painting on the small one but the big one was painted in exactly the same fashion the second layer is a dry brush of stone gray time to apply a first layer of foliage first i lay down a little bit of thin down pva glue to where i want the foliage to be i used fine turf soil by woodland scenics simply rub it on tap it off and do this for the entire stone where you want the moss like foliage to be we're gonna lay the small portal aside and start on the big one now before we continue with the larger portal there is something i want to talk to you about a wonderful gift given to me by my mother-in-law alice uh, now i ain't gonna wear it outside first of all it's much too small for me and I've already been plucking aside. These are very useful to simulate heaps of grass, which is exactly what I used it for. I applied it with a little bit of PVA glue and a bit of hot glue, pushed it onto the painted speckle for which I used raw umber. We are going to take a little time lapse. So the base was uh, painted in raw umber. The little pieces of felt were glued on. And then I ripped out my airbrush, painted all the grasses dark green and also all the little moss that I applied in a step earlier on the small ones. And then finally with a little black wash into the lines to give a little bit of shadow, give a little bit of depth. Let's continue. Now that the basic painting is done, time to get on with some more flocking. I want some different kinds of grass incorporated in the piece. For this, I'm going to use the Bad Mother Flocker and 6 mm tall static grass. Same principle applies for all these kinds of static grass applicators. A simple layer of watered down PVA glue. One end of the wire goes into this PVA glue and then we have a little metal basket with the static grass this flows through the current onto the pva and stands up as soon as you go above four millimeter static grass you need a machine with a 15 kilovolts ion generator or else your hairs will not stand up nice as you can see here i added also a couple of tufts a little bit more variation happy with the result for now i direct my attention back to the small piece i'm going to add a little bit more of flux first a little bit of watered down pva glue and then i use micro flux by bush to simulate some moss and some more flocking bit lighter color for some highlights 
while the flocking is drying I go back to the large piece I want to uh, blend the colors from the grasses a little bit better so with a little bit of dark green I go over all the grass that I laid down and blend the colors together and then the last step in the painting process I use these small little makeup brushes very handy and I used a little bit of oil paint dust by Optiling 502 simply use a dry brush method to apply in the appropriate places to get some highlights in the stone and that's it for this week's project a couple of stone portals useful in a whole bunch of games thank you very much for watching please like subscribe leave me a comment see you soon for a new update remember to go and check out my social media and i'll see you soon here on Dark Matter Workshop. Thanks for now. Bye.